we're going to look at the how the action works on the Dreiser rifle. And before we start, we're going to say it is a little complicated, and to modern eyes, it's very complicated because we assume how bolt action should work. You do need to remember that this rifle was being used in the era when every other major army of the world was still using muzzle loaders, which had the complexities of their own. All right, so at this point, the gun is in the state as if it would be when it had just been fired. You can tell that because the cocking piece is forward, the bolt locks, and in the back, you cannot see the um, head of the needle. So to load the rifle then from this point, you pull the cocking piece all the way to the rear. At this point, the bolt can open and a round can be inserted. Then the bolt is closed and smacked forward. Finally, the cocking piece is pushed forward, which puts compression in the spring and allows it to be fired. You can also tell it's a lot ready to be fired because you can see the exposed end of the needle.